I just wanted to go over the pricing that I was talking about before. So for example, a 30 milliliter, which is one ounce of the Pro Collagen Marine Cream is $89, one ounce, right? 30 milliliters. The 50 milliliter, which is 1.7 ounces, is $132. And then the 100 milliliter, which is normally 3.4 ounces, is 225 so let's just say this one is 1.7 ounces, which is close to like, let's say 1.7 is like 1.5. That's $132 for 1.5 ounces of this cream. On eBay, you can get, right, that's 100, uh, that's 50 milliliters, right? Let's just go back. 50 milliliters. I don't know what happened here. There you go. 50 milliliters is $132. Here, they're telling you they're giving you five, five sealed 0.5 ounces, which is 2.5 ounces or 75 milliliters because five times 15 is 75, right? So you're getting 75 milliliters, okay? 75 milliliters for $35. You can get, this is so irritating. Why does it keep doing this? You can get 50 milliliters. Why does it keep doing this? <laughs> 50 milliliters for 132, or you can get 25 more milliliters, 75 milliliters, for just $35. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you're getting 50% more than what you would pay for $132 for a total of $35 because they're in five separate bottles and they're samples. But the truth is, when you open up these products, they start to oxidize and they start losing their, their potential, their, po their, their potencies. So it's better to have the smaller ones, open it, use that little one, and then move on to the next. Um, but sometimes people just like the way this looks on their counter. you know. And also every time you dip your finger into the product here, you're adding bacteria to it. With these, there's no bacteria going in because it's just a tube and it just pushes out what you need everything stays on a tip. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's even more sanitary. So that's how I save a lot of money and I live wealthy because I just try these little products. You know what? Let's try La Mer. I never tried that sample. They have the eye concentrate, which is 0.1 ounce for $29.99. That's a lot of money. Cleanser, serum, eye, brand new. Okay, let's see what these are. Moisturizing cream, fourteen ninety nine. That's still a good price. Three point five milliliters. That stuff is expensive. You know, one ounce is thirty milliliters. So ten of these, it'd be one hundred and forty nine dollars. It's still cheaper than buying the one ounce La Mer. And let's just go see. The one ounce La Mer moisturizing soft cream is ninety two dollars. Let's just go to the La Mer website. So $200 for one ounce, which is 30 milliliters, right? That's crazy. You have the cool gel cream, which is for um, oily skin. You have the soft cream, which is for normal skin. And then you have the cream, which is the one that I buy, which is for dry skin. It's for mature skin too. So $380 for two ounces which is 60 milliliters. Now we're looking at the one ounce, which is $200. I got it for 137, I thought it was a good deal, but you could actually get it cheaper. You could get the same one ounce bottle that I paid $137 for, that's $200, for $80.55. Now, do we know, here, this one's $118 sealed in box, that's a good price, 132 sealed in box, 119 sealed in box, I'm pretty sure these are the ones that are probably from um, duty free or something. And they just are, you know, close to the expiration date. $89.99 sealed in box. Now, we don't know if these are really sealed in box, but this is what I would do. I would go here. 
and I would look at the seller store, 91,000. I would trust this guy because he sells things. He's still around. He has a 91,486 feedback, which means at a 99.8, I trust this guy. I would totally buy it from this guy. Let me just, it's in my card already. Um, so just to show you guys, you can get things cheaper than what they cost at the store. I was looking into these eyebrows because everybody always wants me to do my eyebrows and I really don't have the patience for it. Oh, this is just like the stuff I bought. So these were the five that I bought. I got them for $35, 2.5 ounces, 2.5 ounces of the La Mer cream. I mean the Alemis cream, sorry, Alemis. 2.5 is going to be like 60, like this, $132, close to it. It's 1.7, but I got 2.5. So it's like in between here, between 132 and 225 and I got it for $35 screw that and it's more sanitary and I could take one in my bag I could keep one in my travel bag I can keep one I don't have to carry this big thing with me everywhere I go I bought this dress it's a 5xl it's super beautiful that's the one that I tried on but you see how it's supposed to be loose and fitted it was like super tight remember on my boobs I had to wear a tank top and I couldn't button the button so I'm a five I'm normally a size 20 so I don't recommend it if you're a size 20 unless you don't mind the way it looked the way it looked on me. But I feel like a 5XL would be for like a size 18 or 16 and then you can kind of like go down from there. So that was that one. This is the Women Cotton Linen Casual. The seller's name is Baby Zeal. Okay, and I got the 5XL and that's what it looked like on me. Then there was this perfume that I was telling you about, La Perla, um, Just Precious. I got the 50 milliliter, which is 1.7 ounces for $27 and I thought that was a good deal it ended up being $35.11 but then I went I want to buy this one I had to have, I have to add this to my cart um oh wait what's this I might actually buy those now uh and I never saw this one I don't know if I'm gonna like the white iris but so far I like everything by La Perla so far if I don't like it I just give it to my sister because if I don't like it, she'll like it. We're exact opposites. So what's this? Two bottles of 3.4 ounces? That can't be right. For $69.99. We gotta look that up to see what it is. And then this one is the bottle and the perfume, I mean, and the lotion. I don't really need the bottle. I don't need, I'm not a big fan of like bottle lotion sets. If you just want one, it's $34.79. $69.99. That's, yeah, I might just get the one to try it. And this is different. All right, so this is this is how I go down the hole and end up buying like a thousand things. And then let me just show you real quick. But then I found out that you can get the same. I got the 50 milliliters, which is 1.7 ounce. 30 milliliters is one ounce. I'm just trying to train your brain, right? So 3.4 ounces would be 100 milliliters. But you can get the same one ounce, which is 30 milliliters, for 26.64. That's not a good deal. I got a better deal. Mine was 1.7 ounces, which is 50 milliliters. Um, but think about it. 1.7 ounces, if I bought two of them at that same price, it would have been $70. This is normally $100 for the 3.4 ounces and I would have gotten it for $70. So I would have saved $30 just for buying two of the 1.7 ounces. See what I'm, so I'm trying to teach you guys that like sometimes break down the numbers and pay for it per ounce and you'll get it so much cheaper. This is the one ounce for 37.08. I got 1.7 ounces. So I, uh, I got a good deal and I like the parfum with this one, not the Eau de Toilette. So I wanted to show you that. These are the ones I just clicked on. I'm going to end up buying it. This one is a 50 milliliter for 27 plus shipping. I think that's the one that I bought. Um, what else did I want to show you? Oh, the Aqua Allegoria collection. This is what I bought for the Guerlain one. And I got Pompe Lou. Pompe Lou. So they have a 2.5 ounce and a 4.5 ounce, which is really weird because normally... Those are not the numbers. Normally it's one ounce, 1.7 ounce, 3.4. Now theirs are 2.5 ounces, which is a lot compared to like a one ounce for 105. And then you have the 4.22 for 
for 145. And the way that they describe that one for you guys that want to know what the top notes are is the essence of grapefruit, bergamot. It has limonin, linalool. Well, you'll see. You can read it. I don't have to say it out loud. See, th this stuff right here, this is what concerns me. Because these are the things that give you cancer. It also has butyl, methyl. I think this is the one that's not good for your skin. All the perfumes have these products, though. The majority of them. Um, let's put it here. I think this might be DHT, which is a known carcinogen. But let's just make sure. I could be wrong. It's a sunscreen ingredient. Why is it in the perfume? DHT. No, it's not the same thing. Okay, so then this is not a bad ingredient. I take it back. You see why we have to do our research? Not the same thing. It says butyl, but it's not butyl aided hydroxytoluene. It's another one. All right. So it's not that bad. Louis Vuitton actually has some really um, carcinogenic products in their perfume. Louis Vuitton. And then we're looking at my favorite perfume, which I'm going to buy. I think I'm going to buy this weekend, but I, I think I might buy next week. I'm trying to make more money because I want to make sure that I have enough money for emergency. And I don't want to dip into my emergency fund to buy a perfume. This is my favorite. And I kind of want to see the ingredients. This has cocoa, peony accord, lychee accord, or lychee, uh, patchouli, Turkish rose, ginger, and bergamot. Here are the ingredients. Butylene glycol, butylene. Oh, no, it has the same one. BHT. Yeah, it has BHT, and BHT is a known carcinogen. But I still want the perfume. I'll have it once, and then I'll just let it go. Um, but just so you know, I mean, a $280 bottle of perfume, they could have made it without the BHT in it. Do you understand what I'm saying? But they still chose to do it. Now, this is a 3.4 ounce, and I'm going to end up buying it. Um, but there's that. So then that outfit that I told you, the two-piece that I fell in love with, it was $23.03. And it's one in case you guys want it. I was a size 20, and I got the 5XL. And the top fit me perfectly, but the bottom was way too tight. Like, there, I, could, I couldn't even let it out if I wanted to. It won't let me get it. But it looks like this, the picture of it. So if you guys want to find it, I think it might be from the company Zanzia. Let's see. I'm actually buying these casters for this table. I have this table from Ikea. It's white. It's super heavy because it's solid wood. But I'm using it to, to do my tarot card readings because I do read tarot cards on Tarot Cheerleader uh, on YouTube. Um, so I would put my cards in here and then I would open the table and put one layout there. And then if I wanted to read and be in the, the scene, I could open this one. But that way it's out of the way. It's on casters. So if I needed to move it around the room, I could. So I'm buying these metal casters to put underneath it. Um, and that, that's what I was looking at. And then this is the company that I was telling you about, Tempt Me. And I'm guessing these are the things that I'm are in my cart. It won't let me click on it. Why? So these are things I'm considering purchasing. I just put these sneakers in there because I need like orthopedic shoes. I'm getting older and my, my feet hurt. So these are orthopedic sneakers <laughs> and they look pretty, you know? So I was like, okay, I'll look at them. I like kettle chips better than regular chips. And um, I just went to an event and North Fork was the company. I'm getting the, I already ordered this, uh, liquid eyeliner pen. Supposedly this is supposed to be liquid eyeliner and it's supposed to be glue for your eyelashes. A lot of people say it doesn't work as a glue, but it's a pretty cool lip eyeliner. So we'll see. I mean, I'll just do a quick review on it. Um, but I don't need that anymore because I already ordered it. 
magnetic paper because what I wanted to do was I have a bunch of CD cases. So I was going to take this magnetic flexible adhesive paper, put it in the CD case, and then take out, I have a lot of pallets that the eyeshadow pan came out of or I took them out and they're just loose pallets all over my drawers. So I wanted to put the loose pallets on this magnetic paper inside the CD case and then store my makeup that way. Then you have the magnetize it paint and I was thinking of just painting it inside the CD case um, and then magnetizing them that way. So that's an option. And then of course I have my Macs. So I needed, I prefer the corded ones, the keyboards with a cord and the number key on the side than the wireless Mac ones. Like, yes, they're cool, but you end up spending so much money on batteries and it's just whatever. And then these were other casters I was looking at. And these are the bathing suits. So I'm thinking about this one because I look amazing in yellow. This one as well. I don't know. Did I order this one already? No, I didn't. But I do like this print and I do like this fit. This I thought was just gorgeous. I love the way. Look at how it curves. And my body's curved like that. So I feel like this would be very curvy. This is the satin set. The silk set that I told you that I ordered. Uh, no, it isn't. That's not it. I was looking at this one, but you could look at the name and, and write it down. I was looking at this one, but this one doesn't have the hood. So if you like that one and you don't want it with the hood, look up this company. E-K-O-U-A-E-R. And then these are the ones that I was looking at also for really cool, like, pajama nightwear. I was looking for plus size kind of, like, you know, loungewear. Because I have a really strong feeling I'm going to meet a wealthy man, and I want to look amazing every time he comes by. And then I was looking at these glasses for blue light. Because I thought they were really interesting. My friend had a microfiber towel in Ibiza. And I thought that was cool. But I don't like the other side. These are some other bathing suits. You can look up Angrella. I I didn't like this one. Uh, no, I didn't order this one. I ordered the other one. But I think I ended up returning it. Because I didn't like it anyway. They're different from Tempt Me. It looks like Tempt Me. It doesn't fit like Tempt Me. It just doesn't. Tempt Me is a little bit different. They're, they're very similar. They're just not the same. This one I think I'm going to end up getting. This one I kind of wanted because I have a beach bag that goes with it. But I used to have a bathing suit like this from Newport News. And it was amazing. And so I'm looking at these two. I don't really like this one. I'm just going to delete it. These are like the tanks. I'm not a big tank bikini person. It was a thought, but I'm probably never going to wear it. And then little travel bottles, but I don't really like these because it's very difficult to get the product in. You have to use these things, and even then you have to like push it through. So these are really not good to have. And then I have a Roomba, and I need to just replace some of the pieces. This was a, a clamp desk light because I have my ring light and it's on a tripod, but I keep hitting it. So I wanted to put it on the desk. And I thought that this would be a really cool system. So that's something I might look into. But that's what I got for you guys. Um, thank you for sitting and watching with me. If you like my videos, let me know what you like, what you don't like, what was not necessary. If you're like, I don't need to know what you're going to buy, then let me know that. If you like knowing what I'm going to buy and what my thought process is, 